And we're off, losers, semis. GA West and Onish versus Moist and T. I just got done watching GA West and Onish uh, body, mouth shampoo, and paint man. Uh, two solid players that we have in Georgia, but um, no match for the old school fellas. Uh, Marth Sheik, uh, it's actually funny. 2015, CEO 2015, West teamed with Austin Tatius, who is also a Sheik, and had asked me if I could find any relevant Marth or uh, Falcon Sheik team because he could not think of one, and I started looking and looking, and I really couldn't find one either, other than like Ken, Isaiah, sometimes. Uh, and what's funny is now, uh, there really hasn't been like there hasn't been like consistent uh, team of those characters until recently. The S2J Shroomed kind of like took off, and like they made it look really fun. Uh, so, all that being said, West is uh, giving a shot to Onish today, or should I say Onish is giving Wes a shot. Uh, it was really a uh, good save by Wes earlier on. Uh, they up smashed him, and or they up smashed Onish, and he nared him in place. Okay. Onish is, or Flo is actually sick. He just PC drop nared <laughs> as an edge guard. He's sick. Oh, Wes wanted the read, didn't get it. Uh, I don't know who Moist and T are. I can only assume that they are out-of-state people. I feel like people that make it to this level that I don't know have to be from a different region. So someone can tell me where they're from and what their backstory is, because I don't know it. Tennessee, what else is new? That's been the story of the day. Everyone here is from Tennessee, I feel like. I know the function tournaments, we kind of get overrun by uh, the Carolinas. I feel like today it's been the Tennessee show. Onish making edge guarding Fox look really easy until that happens. Oh man, red team is sick. Um gotta think about what green team can work on. I mean, teams work best when they're together, so if they can try to work on separating one or the other, maybe having designated targets, maybe, uh, I don't know. I just felt like the green team just didn't stand a chance at all. They were just being smothered. Onish, I, I saw that PC drop. And as for stages, I don't know. It's easy to start on a small stage and lose and then be like, hmm, more space would be nice. And you then open it up. It doesn't get any more open than Dreamland. Unless you try the reverse psychology. It's like, you know what? Maybe we need less space. Maybe we want to take space away from them. That's also a legit strategy. So let's see how uh, this works out. I just... I don't know, me just personally knowing Onish and his edge guarding possibilities, especially against a double Fox team, I feel like, you know, since you have less stage to work with, that's that means more time that you're recovering. And man, Onish is so good at hurting a recovering Fox. But I'm not the one who made it this far. Wow. Oh, and he just slapped him back in towards the stage. Uh. That was a good read there uh, on West. Ooh, nice double shine. All right, the coverage was there. He just kind of, like, misplaced, and I don't even think a shine would have... Oh, Randall saves the day. I don't even think that a shine would have really done much in that situation. But that was, like, 100 actions ago, so we got to fast forward.
Red team still uh, doing a really good job at keeping them sandwiched. I mean, wow. They are just, they don't even have to say anything. They just know what to, where to be and what to do at all times. I wouldn't say green team is doing bad per se. It's just, this is next level. All right, that was really good pressure there. Uh, it was like double nair pressure on Onish. Oh, now that's tough with Yoshi's, uh, how the stage kind of declines at the end. Because he did have the ledge, and I thought he held it for a reasonable amount of time. He gets up, and Onish is still able to grab it. He kind of like sat there in limbo for forever. I think, uh, I think, uh... Well, really, both of these uh, characters in Sheik and Falcon both have pretty piss-poor recoveries. But I think exposing Sheik's recovery for how laggy it is on the end uh, is where they need to be at. Because Onish has had to poof to the top platform several times, and they've let him come back for free every time. I feel like if someone was at the top platform waiting, or if they were able to jump up there with a back air or a up air, uh, that would be pretty ideal. Well, Wes is a monster. We're hoping for a not one-on-one -on -one situation, uh, and we get exactly that. So now we have a singles match between Wes and whatever one of these are. Nice double shot pressure. We was almost able to get to the ledge, but not quite. Oh, Wes went for that hard read Raptor boost. No, it's no avail. Good drill reset. Reading the roll with a dash attack, a second dash attack, and a back air. This should do it. Oh, soft hit, back air the other way. Gives Wes another chance, and... Okay, I really like that play. I, th I think that a lot of other options were better, but Wes is a monster, and Wes doesn't give a shit about anything. So the side B is perfectly fine. Hey, Doobie. You can do whatever you want to, Doobie. Come on in. How's it going, Ryan? It's going, dude. It's me. How'd you do today? Uh, I got out. I uh, got to winner's finals, and then I lost to uh, Drake Fox and a Falcon Ditto. Shame on you. It was fun. Yeah. And, and I did I did all right the first game, but game two he kinda he did he styled on me a bit. Did so. you play Falcon all day? No, no, just oh, he, just he that? uh before pool started he asked me if I wanted a Falcon ditto because oh, okay. he knows I like to play Falcon. Alright. So fair enough, fair enough. Oh, so it's game three? Yeah, uh, uh it turned into a one on one situation. West versus one of them, I'm not sure which one. Wait, this which. is the loser simmies of the pool? Yeah. My our pool is so much easier. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Wes is uh Wes has bad luck with this kind of stuff. Um last game was oh well, the first game they pretty much decimated him. It was like a four or five stock. It was pretty brutal. The se the second game was on Yoshi's and it was a singles match between Wes and one of the Foxes. And uh they're on the top platform of Yoshi's and Wes like stomps him, gets on the second platform and like up airs him, and then you think he's gonna go out there with a knee and instead he tries to like side B. But the side B didn't quite make it and kind of like staled out like right on him. So Wes just fell down and died into the abyss. I see, I see. So this is and why uh, we have this going on. Has, uh, has the green team been going double Fox this whole time? Because yep. I know mm -hmm. Moist is a Falcon man. Oh, really? Yeah, no, they've yeah. been Fox the whole time. Okay. Uh, it's been like, I don't know. They're doing the right stuff. It's just like, this. it just seems like it's pretty next level. Like they're not, like Wes and Onish are just so experienced. Like they've just seen it all. Like, there's nothing that they've really done that's been super great. I know that they've had a hard time, like, getting any, like, teams, anything started, just because West and Onish are really good at saving each other and keeping them separated. Mm -hmm. Being good at doubles is just a gift, man. I, just feel, I feel like that's something that you just don't just learn and become great at. I feel like it's something you're born with. I see, I see. Uh, I kind of agree with that. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, it's pretty even right now. Yes, it is. That's impressive. All right, see, like, I like this, but they're right on top of each other. So, I mean, I feel like one of them oh. should have been, like, on the ledge at least, and the other one, like, perfectly. That was right. 
But they were both like jumping in place, not at the ledge. So I'm like, Ugh. and then he ended up shining his teammate. Watching Double Fox is just so, so weird. I don't know. I don't see anything interesting happening right now. Oh, yeah, off the top. yeah. They're just oh, I thought hits. that was gonna kill. For sure, especially on Pokemon. Oh, that's an, that was a cool stuff. Oh, all right. So he knew he was about to get shined, right? So he just kind of put that out there. Oh, oh my okay. That was some... Wes is insane. Yeah. Oh, if I don't see that on Peng Boys later, I'm gonna flip out. Oh, don't talk about Ping Boys around oh, yeah, the oh, streamer. Oh yeah, 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 that's right, no. that's right, that's right. You don't talk about Ping Boys around <laughs> Sean now. <laughs> I'm just looking over. Yeah, and we it's we specifically talked about that earlier, actually. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so that was totally my bad. Oh, well, um, Onish really needs to stay alive right now, and he doesn't. So now Wes needs to stay alive because he's. Oh. Uh... Okay, if he can live for. For Onish to do enough damage, they definitely have a good shot of winning. But Dude, if you told me so that... Close. Oh! If you... Okay, I was about to say. If you told me that the red team was in, like, was potentially going to lose this after watching game one, I would have said you were full of shit. But they, they kind of put the scare in me a little bit. I think... I think I think it's T left. I think it, he could still do it. Uh, he just needs to take out West real quick, and then... To one. So he's dead. So... Wow, a little, a little scary, but Red Team able to pull it out. That was a good good set from the last game I watched, um, I must say. In, during game one, 